What does it mean to you to be AAC preseason player of the year? Um, it means it means a lot. You know, it means that you know I got to keep working, and um, you know the the American Conference, they, the coaches and stuff, they see something in me. So I want to make sure that I'm working and upholding um, kind of that vote that they they chose to put that in me. As a senior, how have you been a leader for this team, and what advice have you given the freshmen? Um, I've just tried to make sure that every day I hold our team to um, the standard that we want to be at and make sure that I don't let little things go that, you know, we might have in past years let things go and it basically led to us in the situation we were in. And um, for the freshmen, I just want to make sure their confidence is still up and it's hard to be a freshman and play for a coach. He um, has many challenges mentally and physically and, um, you know, you might feel like you are worse than you've ever been in your life at that point. And, um, just making sure that they stay confident and they understand that we all kind of went through that experience. Um, what area of your game did you try to work on the most this offseason to improve? Um, well, for me, this offseason was different because I was out for almost all of it. <laughs> um, you know, I played my first full day of pickup a week before practice started. So um, I've just been trying to become a better leader and um, see what everyone's strengths and weaknesses are. I think I got the opportunity to do that from the sidelines. Do you think that with the injury, maybe that was a part of your game that you had more time to work on, that maybe if you weren't injured, you would have been focused more on like the physical aspects of the game? I mean, yeah, I think with my injury, I was um, able to, you know, heal. <laughs> I need um, kind of to put myself in a better situation this year where I already feel better cutting and moving around. So I know that it was the right decision to get it fixed. And um, I clearly would have rather been healthy last year, but I'm glad that we took care of it now. You guys lost three key players. Who do you expect to step up to kind of fill the void for them this year? Yeah, I mean, I think Megan has already done a big job stepping up and um, kind of fitting in with me, Crystal, and Fee, I would say. And then, um, you know, hopefully two freshmen, Olivia and Kristen, um, they continue to do well. They've done well in practice so far. So um, it's hard to tell with freshmen, though, they're going to have their own struggles at different times throughout the year. So making sure that they're, they're up there and ready to go is our main focus. You and Nafisa have had a little over three years together. What's that relationship been like and how has it grown over the years? It's been great. Um, you know, she's my best friend. I spend tons of time with her. I think um, we've seen each other at our highest and lowest points and um, going through that with someone and caring through just the two of us have gone through it is has been really it's been good for us and good for the team because now we're at a point where we feel pretty connected on the court and off the court and we don't have to worry about one another. We're just ready to go and um, for everyone to see that and know if we're good to go, it makes them be more confident that we have their backs no matter what. I know you guys talk a lot about only having team goals, but coming off an injury and heading into senior year, do you have any personal goals for the upcoming season? Yeah, for me, you know, I just want to be able to kind of put myself in a position, you know, I'm hoping to go further with my career after this, so I want to be able to raise my game to a different level and different physicality than I've been before, but um, that's kind of it. This year I'm focusing day by day each each team drill we do, every team um, practice we have. I think it's the main focus of trying to win every single day. You guys have a rematch with Notre Dame at their home court. Are you looking forward to that? Is that like something you're circling on the calendar or is that just another game for you guys? I mean, it's another game, but it's definitely something special for us and important for us to kind of go out there and do what we need to do. Um, it's still the regular season, so um, not necessarily the time where I would like to beat them. <laughs> but um, I would clearly, every time I play Notre Dame, I want to beat them, whether or not the outcome from last year happened. Um, this, um, these two teams have been competitive since before I got here, and um, I think that's the biggest, the best thing about the kind of matchup is that we both go out there and play each other without any fear and just play as hard as we can. You talk about the rivalry. What do you think makes this rivalry so great between UConn and Notre Dame? Um, like I said, I think we both go out and play with no fear. I think sometimes a lot of teams, especially playing against us, they go out there and you can tell the game's won before it's even started. I don't think any time I've ever played Notre Dame I felt that way. I know that they're going to put up a battle. I know that they're going to play the best that they can. And um, I know that they're going to be more physical than any other team. So um, knowing that we have to be ready to go. And like I said, I'll be super pumped for that game. I think we'll all be excited to play in it. Those two final four losses, the losses were tough, but those are the times that you get the most to learn from. What did you and the team take away from those losses that you're going to try to improve on this year? What, what lessons were learned? 
Um, the lessons are just, I think every little detail matters that we prepare for the, for our biggest games is when, when we let things go in practice or when we're not on top of all of our spacing or drills and stuff like that, it comes back to kind of bite us in the butt at the biggest moment of the year. And so making sure that we're on top of everything at all times is our biggest, biggest concern. What does this team need to do to raise another banner? Um, I think we need to focus not on banners. I think as long as we focus on what we're doing each, each day and not focus on the big picture, we'll have more success. In your opinion, who had the best moves at first night? <laughs> um, I mean, I think Kristen had some pretty good moves. I was pretty impressed with it. But I think the funniest person was Lexi. <laughs> And then winning the three-point contest the first night, how much bragging rights gets into that for both the men's and women's team? You, you beat everybody who was you know, in the contest, so what are the bragging rights that come with that, and how have you used that to kind of hold that over them? I mean, I'm not going to lie. Once uh, I was competing against Alterique, I knew I was going to win, so <laughs> just saying. <laughs>